Hey what's going on guys, welcome for another video, it's your boy Kenex here for another video and today I'm gonna show you a really quick way to create water simulations in Blender. Today we're gonna do like a water drop effect, really easy, really fast and you're gonna have a really good result in the end. So if you enjoy this kind of videos, these quick tutorials, don't forget to give a like and subscribe the channel and if you want to become a part of this community that we are creating together in this channel, go check it out my Patreon page where you have access to every single project that I've made as a tutorial or even the scenes and the materials that I made for this YouTube channel. And with no further ado, let's go to Blender. Ok guys, here we are in Blender and let's start this tutorial. So first of all, let's click A to select everything and click X to delete it. Shift A and let's add a plane. Just like that, click S to scale, put the number 10, just to scale it 10 times, just like that. Alright, this will work perfectly. And as we are creating a simulation, we need subdivisions. So for that, let's go into edit mode. You just need to click tab and then just subdivide this 100 number of cuts, just subdivide it a little bit just like that and now this is very easy and straightforward the first thing that we're gonna do we're gonna use a dynamic paint effect to create this simple simulation of course if you want to create more complex simulation you need to go here to object and here in quick effects you can add a quick liquid and go from there but for now we're gonna just keep it easy for you to understand it and if you like this tutorial just say in the comments if you want to see more about these simulations and then we'll use a simulation we we'll like quick liquid to create a more a realistic or a more complex simulation of water all right guys so now what we need to do we just need to go over here to the physics and now we're gonna add a dynamic paint just like that this will be our canvas so we need a brush to create this effect what we can use as a brush is every single object that you want to use so right now we're gonna use here a uv sphere shade smooth and over here in the normals activate the normals put the angle in 60 and now let's go to edit mode just click tab we will use the proportional editing so for that we have here the icon so let's click o to activate it just like that and let's just select this vertex over here and now let's go to our front view click g to move and let's just move it a little bit like that you can control this uh, wheel of the proportional editing with the wheel of your mouse so it's very easy to use all right guys so now let's just scale this down just click s and scale, scale a little bit down just like that and now we will use this object this sphere as our brush so for that we need to go again to our physics tab and here we're gonna add the dynamic paint again but here we're gonna change the type from canvas to brush just like that all right and now let's add a brush let's go and select our plane let's add a canvas and right over here we will change the surface type from paint to waves just like that and i will explain more about this for you to understand it but right now we'll leave it there let's go over here to our sphere and we're gonna put this factor at max so it's two and now basically if we click play with your spacebar nothing happens because we need to animate our object or our brush so for that let's just go over here let's click i just add here a location rotation and scale keyframe all right and now we have it right over here skip some frames and go to the 30 just like that move with g in the z axis so let's click z and let's move it down just a little bit click i again and location rotation and scale and let's insert this keyframe all right now we have this effect going on and right now it's really simple and it's looking pretty good don't forget that this will change with the scale of your brush that is interacting with your canvas so don't forget about that if you want a bigger simulation you need to have a bigger uh, object or a bigger brush right now this is looking pretty good so let's go let's shade smooth this let's go over here to our canvas and let's change some stuff first of all we have our effect going pretty fast you can see and i uh, will just change these values just to show you what each value does to your canvas so basically the time scale is how long it will start to create this kind of effect so basically if i put the time scale in 0.1 this will go very slow you can see this is going but it's very 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 slow let's use 0 0.5 and now you can see that is a more smooth animation the speed as it says by the name is basically the speed of your simulation so basically 
you see these waves going on so this is the speed that will change the, the propagation of these waves so you can change here the speed that you want like 0.68 and you can see that this is more slow the damping as the name says is basically how much force you want between the interaction of the brush with the canvas the spring is basically the level that puts the water again in zero all right so basically right now we are in zero mode so if we have a spring of 0.20 you can see that it goes really slow but at the end of this animation it goes again to zero so basically if you want to reset the animation really fast you just change here the spring and basically the smoothness is how smooth you want your waves to go and your own simulation the brush collection doesn't matter right now because we are not using different brushes if we were using different brushes like different objects to create a brush we could use a collection of all of that objects uh, to interact with our canvas it's a very simple and really cool way to create this effect and not just that you can use it in basically every single object that you want so it's really cool and really fast effect for you guys to understand let's add here a water material all right guys so basically if you don't know how to create water this is a simple material for you so really fast just go here to transmission let's put this in one put the roughness down shift a s to search let's use a noise texture let's add here a color ramp and a bump node color go to the height normal go to the normal and factor of the noise texture go to the factor of our color ramp right now this is what is going on we're gonna bring this a little bit just like that all right bring the detail up and now let's just make some difference so basically what this color ramp is doing is just removing a little bit of that noise so in some parts we only have this roughness of zero and in other parts we have these points that you can see here in the color ramp these white points will be this noise texture and these black points will be our roughness all right now this is really sharp so let's just bring the strength a little bit down just like that 0.05 i think is looking pretty good and now you have a simple water material i hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial very fast very easy to create this kind of simulations you can create a more complex simulation with more controlling aspects to it as i said if you use like the quick effects quick liquid probably you will have a more realistic effect but this works pretty good and pretty well for you to create a simple scene so i hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to give a like and subscribe the channel we are almost reaching the 2000 subs so that's really good and amazing and if you want the scene and this project file go check it out my patreon page where i have all the scenes project files and materials textures and all of that that i use in my tutorials and i hope you enjoyed this video and i see you in the next one bye Thank mm -hmm. you.